Welcome to episode 15 of the Motor Car Marketing Podcast. I'm Ashley Myers with MotorCarMarketing.com. In this episode's main segment, I'm going to be talking with Terry Gibson. Terry works for Engage to Sell, which is a live chat application that car dealers can add to their website. If you're not using live chat on your website, you're going to you're not going to want to miss this discussion. Terry has some great insight into how this app can help dealers generate more leads. So stay tuned for that. If you find this episode valuable, please help us out by giving us a review in iTunes or leaving a comment on YouTube or retweeting the podcast on Twitter or liking us on Facebook. These social media shares really do help spread the word about the podcast, so it's very much appreciated. If you have any questions or comments about anything, feel free to send us an email at info at motorcarmarketing.com. I want to improve this podcast, so some honest constructive and constructive feedback is always appreciated. A couple of quick notes, any website or links that I mentioned in the podcast can be found on the website in the show notes. I also publish a transcript with every episode in case you'd rather read the show or look at something later on. You can find all the podcast show notes at www.motorcarmarketing.com slash podcast. Just look for episode 15. We recently put together a great free guide for car dealers called the Quick Start Auto Dealer Marketing Guide. You can get it by going to motorcarmarketing.com slash guide. It's completely free. You just put in your email address and the lessons will be emailed to you over the course of the next few days. We've tried to concentrate on the high leverage things you can do with each marketing channel so you can get the maximum results in the shortest amount of time. We'll be adding more lessons to this guide in the future, but to start out, we'll show you how to increase your ROI and sell more cars on Craigslist how to quickly set up a Google pay per click campaign, how to begin generating leads from local search engine optimization, and how to effectively use email marketing to generate leads and correspond with your past customers. Again, this guide is completely free. Just go to motorcarmarketing.com slash guide. So now let's get into the main segment. Today I'm talking with Engage to Sales, Terry Gibson. Here is the interview. Welcome, Terry, to the Motor Car Marketing Podcast. I really appreciate you coming on the show. You're welcome, Ashley. Glad to be here. So um, to start out, I wonder if you can give us a quick overview of your career and, and how you got into um, the automotive niche and, and and ultimately to live chat with Engage to Sell. Yeah, sure. Um, actually, out of college, um, <clears throat> I was uh, you know, looking for some work or whatnot and ended up in the motorcycle field or power sports. So I worked for uh, Rick Case, which is a big organization uh, on the East Coast, selling uh, all four uh, brands, Honda, Yamaha, Kawasaki, and Suzuki. Um, after that, they ended up selling those stores, and we had uh, a Honda car store. And so I was invited to go over there and uh, transfer uh, work for them. So that's how I transferred from the power sports into the automobile industry. Uh, was real successful with that, and then uh, we opened some dealerships in Fort Lauderdale, and they were looking for volunteers to manage those stores. I became the general sales manager at the Honda store in Ohio at that point, so I transferred to Fort Lauderdale, and uh, here we are. Perfect, perfect. So let's talk about Engage to Sell a bit. Can you give us a quick overview of what your product is and, and how it can help car dealers? Yeah, basically, uh, we're a proactive live chat company. So if you will, uh, as, a, as a customer drives up to the dealership um, and somebody comes out proactively and greets that customer and says, hey, I'm so-and-so, welcome to you know, Joe Smith Motors, we take that same approach and mirror that online. So we're not a homepage strategy. Once a customer goes to a dealer's website and lands there, we don't pop up on the home page or anything like that. We wait till they land within a service or product because we're going to chat with customers in parts, sales, and service. So we never uh, forget a profit center. We always want to engage in each one of those customers. So based on an algorithm, we'll then engage those customers with a live agent 24-7, 365 days a year. This, huge, this uh, yields a fantastic result. Um, conversions are very high and, and, and uh, it works out real, really well for the dealer. Perfect. So maybe you can give us just to drill down a little bit on what you said about the algorithm and when you engage with the customer, um, maybe give us sort of an example of, of that flow and how that works. Cause I'm, I'm not quite clear. So if someone goes to the home page, then they go to a specific, you know, vehicle page. Um, maybe just give us an example of how, how your, your little live chat window would open up and, and start. Yeah. So, so as somebody goes to, uh, let's say I go to a dealership's website and then I'm going to click on the inventory. And once I click on the inventory, I'm going to then do a search and figure out what I'm looking for, if they have it or so on and so forth. 
once I land on a detail page within that inventory, our team, based on an algorithm, knows when to engage that customer when they're most accessible to the chat. So it would open up once they're on that page, and this would be in part sales or service in the inventory and so on and so forth. It would open up a window uh, and float from the left to the right, asking that customer, introducing themselves. Of course, this is so-and-so. Can I help you find what you're looking for? Mm -hmm. So, like, just again, just to kind of maybe um, shine a little light on that. So, like, your algorithm is looking at what it's it's tracking their their um, mouse clicks on the page. It's tracking how long they've been on the page. So, you might let them sort of digest that page for thirty seconds, and then your window would pop up. Yeah, we let them look and land on an area. In other words, once they found that inventory or found that car they're looking for, then I proactively engage that customer. We don't wait till they click on a button or something like that. We engage that customer based on an algorithm, knowing when to engage them. So our team, a window will open up, and then we engage uh, with that customer uh, proactively mm -hmm. instead of letting them, like I said, waiting for them to click on the button. Okay, perfect. I mean, one of the big advantages that I see is, um, you know, that you guys man this thing with your own staff. I know I've been on a lot of websites where they have live chat, but there's like never anybody actually manning the live chat. So that seems like a really good um, thing. But one concern I would have is that the agents wouldn't be able to answer, you know, the questions adequately. Can you talk about sort of the training that you give these agents um, before they're they're allowed to, you know, actually interact with a, with a dealer's customers? Yeah, first of all, uh, everybody in our team goes through a six-week minimum training on the automotive industry, on the websites, what customers look for. We've got a, a complete list of, of questions that most customers would ask during these, uh, these periods of time. So they're very educated on, on the, uh, in the automobile business and how to answer and how to handle the customer's questions at that point. Keep in mind, we're actually uh, creating a kind of a concierge or a, a greeter, if you will. So we're gathering everything that the customer is looking for. We're doing all the heavy lifting for the dealership. And then once we've completed that, within 30 seconds, that information is in the dealer's hand. We've got a mobile app. It can go into their CRM. It can be texted. It can be emailed. So within 30 seconds, I'm the sales manager, and I look down at my phone, and I see John Smith just left my site. Here's everything he was looking for. He's got a trade. He's going to finance. Here's his, here's his email. Everything I know. So it's kind of like the game film of how to put a deal together with this customer. So now mm -hmm. I pick up the phone or I email whatever that process was that that customer uh, wanted us to contact them uh, by. And then the customer can obviously set that appointment or the dealership can set that appointment from there. Yeah, yeah. I wonder if you could um, tell us what are what are some of the common questions that people have via this live chat mechanism. Well, once uh, you know somebody engages with us, you know, <clears throat> a lot of customers, um, you know, they'll want to know questions about, you know, is it uh, is it available, um, different things about the car, so on and so forth. You know, most customers really uh, want to remain autonomous, so. We'll use their first name and get that information until we go through the chat and we've established a little rapport with that customer. Um, and then we'll answer a lot of the questions. And usually by that time, you know, they feel comfortable with us. We really set the stage for the appointment for the for the uh, customer to come into the dealership. So it really sets that stage uh, for that visit and the CSI <clears throat> for the dealership. So customer satisfaction, what to expect, you know, when they visit the dealership. Um, and that really works out well. Yeah, yeah. So it seems like just like what you just mentioned, the, the one of the most common questions is going to be, is that car still available? And I wonder, that always seems somewhat tricky. I mean, a lot of the dealerships I work with, they're not that great about maybe updating their website, you know, right when a car is sold. So um, how do you handle some of those sort of intricacies of, uh, you know, a man on the ground would really need to physically verify that the car is available? Yeah, and that's part of the script and what we do. We actually say that, you know, we're going to have management verify that the car is still available. Um, and, you know, what, how would you like us to get back with you? Would it be an email? Would it be a phone? Would it be a text? Mm -hmm. All of that information is laid out. And usually the customer will answer at that point, and then we'll go on through the final process. In other words, building um, that game film, if you will, like I said, again, for the dealership, you know, are you financing, by the way, do you have a trade? Uh, how soon do you want to be in the market? Things like that, that the customer's looking for, the dealership's looking for, really to help uh, put a deal together.
Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of the um, actual statistics of, of what this service is doing. Um, you know, what sort of percentage of people that use the live chat ultimately will turn into a phone lead or come into a test drive? Well, what we see is um, all of the chats that we convert, you know, it, it, let's talk about you know, the website. A normal website is what, around 2 to 4% conversion, I would say, in most cases. Our conversion rates are around 6 to 8% the way we engage a customer. And out of those people, 85% um, of the customers are contactable. Mm -hmm. So it really uh, is a high percentage of people that, that set the appointment that come into the dealership. I mean, they've taken the time, you know, to spend a lot of time on the sites. Our chat conversations last uh, five to 10 minutes in some cases. So they spend a lot of time on that site. So when a dealer gets that information, uh, they're trained and, and our, our process mirrors their process. In other words, set that appointment, get the customer in and go from there. Um, being, being that they're 85% of our leads are contactable, it really yields out uh, a great ROI for the dealership uh, with a great success rate. Yeah, yeah. So the 6 to 8%, um, you're talking about website visitors you're able to convert as opposed to like the normal 2 to 4%. You're able to actually convert 6 to 8 So if they get 100 visitors, hopefully 6 to 8% of those will become contactable leads, as you're saying. Yeah, correct. Mm -hmm. Yep. Perfect. Perfect. Um, and, and this is just I, I just one thing that occurred to me as I was sort of looking at your website, and I'd be curious if you had any stats. One minor concern that I might have is you're clearly increasing overall engagement. Um, but one thing I might be concerned about is that there's a certain number of people that might actually call you if there's like if there's no website form and there's no live chat and they have questions about the car, they might pick up the phone and call. And so you might get a better, um, you know, you might have more people calling you because their their questions are not being answered on the front end. There might be a lot of people who just get their questions answered and then don't turn into a lead. Do you have any stats on that? Like engagement's clearly going to go up, but maybe call volume goes down or even total sales might go down. Well, what we see, um, Ashley, is is a, an uptick in, in what we call leads. In other words, if a dealer gets, I was just at a Ford store yesterday, and the guy gets 60 to 80 leads a month from his own website. So what we see is we normally will double that. Mm -hmm. So now the guy's going to get 120 leads from his own website. And as you and I both know, a lead from their own website is the best lead they can possibly get as opposed to third party and so on and so forth. So based on that, um, you know, it really works out well the way we engage a customer. And that's all about the engagement. Mm -hmm. You know, there's, there's three things on a, on a dealer's website. Number one is the phone. Um, and as you say, some people will call, but after hours, it's invalid. Number two, forms. A lot of customers can click on contact us forms and so on and so forth, but it doesn't really do anything to um, to, to engage, get the customer to engage or really be personable or, or really show up for that appointment. So live person chat or live chat in this case, being proactive is a great form and, and is a, a, a must on a dealership's website today that if they don't have, they're clearly missing opportunities. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, sure. So do you guys give out like some sort of a, a trial, a test run for people so they can just see what kind of um, great results they're going to get from this? We don't have a trial period. Uh, we do have some deal, you know, things that will work out for a dealer. We are a month to month service. Uh, we have a 98% retention rate, um, you know, plus for our, uh, for our, our current uh, uh, contracts. So anybody that signs up with us, you know, like I said, 98% of them retain. And we, we just tell somebody, hey, if I don't do the job, fire me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so, sure, sure. So, well, I think that's some great information. Um, I, I know I've learned a lot about your product. It does sound like a great product. It sounds really like a no-brainer. I mean, if it doesn't work, you can certainly turn it off. But um, I, I can definitely see how engagement would, would go through the roof with something like this. So what's the best way for people to contact you and get in touch with you if they want to learn more about it? Uh, they can email me at terry.gibson at engagetosell.net. Again, that's terry.gibson at engagetosell.net. Or you can give me a call at 904-742-1693. Sixteen ninety three, perfect. And I will link to all this in the show notes. So if someone's in their car listening to this podcast episode, they can just go to the show notes, and I'll have a direct link to your um, to your email address, and and I'll and I'll list the phone number there as well. So, well, Terry, this has been great. As I said, this is some great information. Um, I definitely think a lot of dealers can can use this. Okay, great. Well, I look forward to it. So, thanks for the uh, the info. It's a pleasure being on the show, and great talking with you. Great. Thank you very much. Okay. 
Just a quick plug for our Craigslist posting service. If you're having any problems getting your cars on Craigslist, please give us a call. We can help. We can get all your ads up quickly and cheaply and using our professional templates too so your ads will look great and stand out. What I've found with a lot of dealers is that if they rely on someone in-house to post their ads, the posting can slip between the cracks and on some days errors are made. Sometimes cars are posted twice while other days cars aren't posted at all. This doesn't happen with our system. We'll keep your ads up and running and live 100% of the time. Give us a call or check out our website to learn more. 818-754-5745 or go to motorcarmarketing.com. Just a quick thought on today's interview with Terry. If you listen to the podcast regularly, you'll know that one of the things that I think is absolutely key to successful marketing is being willing to get out there and try new things. So if you're not already using some form of live chat on your website, you definitely owe it to yourself to check this out and give it a try. The sorts of numbers he's quoting, doubling your lead volume, seem pretty reasonable to me. And if you think about this in relation to your other marketing efforts, that's a huge increase in ROI. Let's say you're using Google Pay Per Click. Imagine if you could double your lead volume without doubling your pay per click spend. All of a sudden, you're seeing a 100% increase in ROI from pay per click. But really, no matter how you're driving traffic to your website, even a small increase in lead volume can turn an unprofitable campaign into a profitable one. So, anyways, that's our show. I hope you get some value out of it and it can help you grow your business. Thanks for listening.